how's everyone doing tonight? I know I didn't get a video uploaded yesterday like I really, really, really wanted to. I uh, got home kind of late. I was just super duper tired. But as you see in the title, I did drag race my 2005 Ram 2500 daily driver street truck that has a shit little blow by. So as you'll see in tonight's video, I did, like I said, race it. I entered into the 770 index. The first pass out, we didn't get it on film. I went a 785 and decided that I needed to turn the fuel up a little bit more. So we retuned it with HP tuners from 1800 US, uh, which is 1800 microseconds to 2000 microseconds of injection. And went back out and ran a 750, which is phenomenal, badass. Went a lot faster than I thought it would around 91 miles an hour to the eighth mile. But I went too fast for the class, so. I broke out and lost. So anyhow, I hooked it to the trailer and drove all the way home and here we are, we're back home. But here's a video, check it out of me making that awesome pass and a lot of other footage that I had in here, so check that out, here you go. What's going on everybody? I hope you liked my upload last night. It wasn't too intricate, but it was an upload to give you guys an update of where we're at up here at uh, the Hardway Performance Sunshine Showdown. So. It is around 9 o'clock this morning. It's kind of breezy. The sun's high in the sky. It's not really hot yet. Man, it is supposed to be like 95 degrees today. They've kind of pushed some of the racing off because the track temp's going to be so hot. But right now, I've got the 05 over here. I got it tuned up last night with Hardway Performance. I'm not, I'm sorry. I got the 05 right here in the background. I got it tuned up last night. Uh, Larson Miller with Firepunk Tuning went ahead and set me up last night so we could get a tune in the truck. Buddy Rod pulling up there. We're gonna strap this baby down the dyno and see what she makes right here with the diesel doctor. Shooting for hopefully 700. Uh, we're gonna find out. It's a heavy, heavy truck. So we'll see what happens in just a moment. Well guys, we are gonna dyno the truck for having issues with us. Maybe we'll get back to that here in a little bit, but we are at round three of qualifying for the pro classes. Uh, 590 index just went. I was trying to do live feed on YouTube, and I don't know if it's just shitty service, or maybe later, live feed was like minty last night, but hopefully it gets better later in the day. But right now we've got our Pro Street trucks coming up now. This is a 6.4 power stroke, I think. Yep, all drive. So I had the truck over there for the dyno, ended up breaking before I could ever get on it. I went out and made one pass with the 05 on the stock tires and wheels literally spun all four so we had to change that up and i borrowed montana slicks that he had and went out and made a 780 pass in a 770 class and unfortunately chaz didn't get that on video so now we are up for a first round of eliminations up against one of the best guys in the 770 index race i went a 780 at like 89 or 95 miles an hour somewhere in there to the eighth mile um since last night i did get it tuned by firepunk transmission so they got me all tuned up we did turn the injection rate up a little bit from 1800 microseconds to 2000 microseconds hopefully get me to the uh eighth mile a little bit faster so we can get down to that 770 mark but the old farm truck doesn't look bad on slicks i do you have to say all right so i've made it over here to the staging lanes we are all right here getting paired up i think i'm running with matt mayer i think he works for i rate diesel works with them he is usually the number one qualifier but i ran a 786 he ran a 784 so all right we got paired together because we are the closest so hopefully i can stick with him and go a little bit faster and run that 770 and get a good treat so it's gonna be interesting all right so like i said we're all paired up i've got matt they are getting everyone put where they're supposed to be so we can get up here and make some passes and pray I make it past first round. If I just make it past first round, that'd be just beyond phenomenal. So uh, hold your breath, guys. The moment of truth is coming. All right, so the GoPro is being a huge piece of shit, pain in the ass, but we are all paired up now. Matt's next to me in his 7.3. Yes, it is a very fast 7.3, four door. Short bed. About to get the helmet stuffed on the old dome here and head out. It is hot. Stupid hot. Out 
this truck right here fucking box a freaking box truck it's got a 4bt compound turbo cummins in it said this but I went out ran a 750 which is a lot faster than I anticipated but with the weight of the truck and that kind of 18 mile per hour that's estimating the truck to be right around 850 horsepower at the crank so most likely 750 to 800 at the um, rear tires which is really cool we're gonna do some true dyno tuning whenever I get back in town maybe go up a little bit on the pulse width on the injectors but right now I'm about to get into going into live feed on YouTube but my video last night you guys watched it you seen where I say you know be able to look out for the live feed so that's what I'm about to start doing well I want to thank everyone for hanging through the video I'm gonna be cutting it here I'm gonna give you a couple minute talk down of the rundown of what happened this weekend so we went loaded Chaz's truck up with a we had torque converters all kinds of shit on the trailer as you've seen got it all dropped off to Suncoast uh, Jeremy Gray got all the wiring harnesses and ECMs that we had with us things like that um, so we emptied all that off the trailer and yesterday night slash this morning I decided you know screw it I'm gonna run 770 index and I got Larson Miller with firepunk transmission they went ahead and tuned the truck up for me ran great went out and made a 789 pass I went to him said hey let's turn it up just a little bit more because uh, I do have stock head bolts still stock valve springs stock push rods basically everything else is stock other than injectors pump and turbo <laughs> go figure so we turned it up from 1800 microseconds to 2000 microseconds of injection timing and went a 750 to the eighth mile i know that's not extremely fast but for a truck that literally pulled you know uh 10,000 pounds here and it's pulling 9,000 pounds back home six hours there and six hours back you know, i'm not going to complain whatsoever all in all the truck did really 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 good we just pulled out of the drag strip. We have made it about 45 minutes. We still have like five and a half hours to go. We're gonna fill the truck up with fuel and go into Love's, take a nice hot shower. I don't know if you guys ever travel, but Love's has the nicest showers. Chaz has never took a shower at a truck stop. He might be a little scared. He's gonna wear his Crocs in, but. So we're gonna go in here, take a shower, and then obviously we've got the truck already topped off of fuel, and then we're gonna hit the road and head home. I appreciate everyone tuning into my live feeds. If you guys want to see more live feeds, drop the comments down below and let me know. Um, you know, hey, we want to see more live feeds. I'll do more live feeds around the shop, stuff like that. And of course, when we go to races, I'll be doing those also. But make sure you guys hit the like button, drop a comment down below about the live feeds. And you know, if you have any other questions about the video or if you liked everything that happened, smash the like button. I think I already said that. And subscribe if you're new to the channel. And turn on that notification bell so you can stay up to date. And at the end of the video, check out my Instagram. Follow me there if you haven't, and always be sure to follow me on Snapchat for all the kind of cool, quirky stuff that's always happening. So, appreciate you guys tuning in. Peace. So that was going to be a huge, long video. Well, I'm not really. It was going to be a little short clip video, but I decided to go ahead and add some length to the video, and I'm doing some more on today on Monday. But I've got the truck back here at the shop. As you guys know, it is my little brother's old truck, and it had huge subwoofers in the back seat. But he decided to take all those out. Well, frankly, I didn't really want them. So he got all those pulled out and he literally only left me with rear door speakers. So I've got some six by nine speakers laying around here in the office. I'm gonna get stuffed in these front doors. So I've actually got four speakers in the truck. So it doesn't sound like a complete pile of crap. And then I've got a couple things to do here at shop and I may ride down to uh, this little car show in St. Pete, we'll see. Uh, Garrett, Cletus will be there and a couple other people. It should be a pretty good show, but we're gonna get this stuff thrown in here right quick. So well, I wasn't going to put these Audio Legion, whatever the hell these pieces of crap are in the truck, but they both rattle and they're major pieces of shit.
so looks like we're still gonna have holes in the front door sorry for that shitty unexpected upload so that's it. I do and have been planning on taking this truck to the local audio shop here in town to get them to uh, I do have a nice Alpine double dent head unit to get him to install and do coaxial front and rear speakers and do subs underneath the back seat uh, all addictive audio stuff so I guess I'm just gonna have him do that. I was kind of hoping that might be a temporary fix for my only having two door speakers in the rear. <sighs> but I guess not. So I'm just gonna throw this door panel back on and we're gonna ride down to St. Pete and see what this car show is all about. So we made it out here to the Quaker Stake for Florida Street Scenes car meet. And these people just don't know what they're looking at. An old farm truck here. They are unsuspecting as hell. But we're over here parked with the old Mopar no car crew. Right, right, right. Got the old whistle kitties over here. All the good stuff. Walk in here and grab some beers. Look at this clunker. How many LS's have you eaten, sir? One and a half. One and a half. One and a half. Eight, one and a half. Is that one and a half car lengths or one and then half of a car length? On the no, one and a half. Is it before or after you broke the transmission? All the missed gears. <laughs> Make sure you check out Parker's Instagram at LS underscore eater. Not a bad turnout. Oh no, it's pretty good. This milkshake machine over here flexing out. Florida Power Stroke Nation. Well, we're rolling out. There's just too much rice here for us. That might be the only muscle car here. And he started it with a screwdriver, so. See what we can find on the road headed home. The old 2005 Dodge Ram.
Alrighty, everyone. So we made it back here to the shop. As you've seen some of that iPhone footage, that one car is making that pop, 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 pop noise. <laughs> Backfired noise. It's pretty stupid. Uh, he didn't want none. And then, uh, you know, that was just a lot of fun. So whatever the other car was right there at the red light. But uh, we had a blast. I'm back here at the shop. I'm going to uh, go home, get this video edited and uploaded for you guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you come back for the next video. I am one thing. We're so close to ending 50,000 subscribers. I'm more than ecstatic and excited and happy about that. We will have the engine back for the gold truck. Sorry. For the gold truck either Thursday, Friday, or Monday. I don't know. Towards the end of this week. And then once it's done, put back in, we will be heading out to either Bradenton Motorsports Park or Orlando Speed World to do some testing. Then we haven't decided yet. We're either going to go to Rudy's or FL2K, which is a Bradenton Motorsports Park here in uh, Central Florida. So be looking forward to that. Guys, make sure you go to ahdracing.com. Pick up all your merch. Uh, it's just a little bit of info. Whenever you guys do buy that stuff, it does help me uh, finance and work on projects here at the shop. So buying the merch isn't just money going in my pocket. It's actually money to help make the video. So make sure you go check out that. I will be adding a lot more products to it here extremely soon. But uh, smash that like button if you're new to the channel. Hit the subscribe button, turn on your notifications bell, and drop a comment down below, guys. Until then, we'll catch y'all later. Peace out. Also, guys, if you're still in the video, I want to throw in here now through, well, until they're all sold out, every hat or uh, basically anything purchased on the website, even if you buy one diesel gang key tag, I will be throwing a second one in for free. And if you buy a hat or a sticker or anything else, I will also be throwing one diesel gang key tag in for free. We have about 300 left. I just want to get them all sold because we have some new merch coming out. Like I said, any purchase made on the website, you will be getting an extra Diesel Gang key tag for free. So make sure you go there now, ahdracing.com.